Our attacks on the Marshall Islands only damaged the Japanese base at Tarawa. Elsewhere, the fighting continued. The Japs dug themselves in and even had a few significant victories. They sank their first carrier, the Langley, and our biggest warship in the Far East, the cruiser Houston. So far, we hadn't managed to hit them back. We started to figure we'd be in the Pacific a lot longer than we originally thought. In April of 42, things were looking pretty bad. Morale was low, both in the Pacific and back home. One of our commanders came up with a daring plan to strike a blow at the Japanese. Not on some island somewhere, but right on their mainland. It was called the Doolittle Raid. Our grease monkeys modified a bunch of B-25s to take off from carriers, something they were never meant to do. They launched from the Hornet and bomb factories on the Japanese mainland. Didn't do a hell of a lot of damage, but it did show the Japs that we had a few tricks of our own. They were filling our breath on the back of their necks now. Some of the boys who flew the B-25s had to ditch in the ocean, but a few managed to crash land in China. Of the 80 crew, 71 made it back. We heard later that the Japs killed 250,000 Chinese just for helping our boys.